Welcome! <laughs> Welcome back if you're returning. My name is Berlin. Today we are playing Final Fantasy XIV. Ah, one of these days I'll do like a perfect intro without flubbing the words or without uh, forgetting something. Hi there, sexy. <laughs> but we are good, I think. I think everything is good now. Hopefully the internet um, cooperates. I had to restart it before because, I don't know, it had an error message, but uh, hopefully we should be good. So anyway, hi guys! Welcome in! Uh, so yeah, we're gonna continue with the, the main scenario quest with Buscaron. Anyway, with this guy, Bus Busca. <laughs> I'm glad you've come, friend. There's something I want to talk to you about. You know I said I thought we might have a traitor in our midst. Someone was, was aiding the Garleans. Well, I'm thinking I may have identified our suspect. There's a regular of mine who used to dine on thin soup and sip his pint on account of not being able to afford another. But of late... He's taken to ordering my best wines and the finest cuts of meat I can lay my hands on. Were he a merchant, I'd probably think nothing of it, but this lad's a wood whaler. And wood whalers don't earn that kind of coin. By chance, I was musing on where the money was coming from when you first told me about the garlands in the forest, and I couldn't help putting two and two together. Suffice it to say, if a whaler's working for the Empire, none of us is safe. The lad I'm talking about goes by the name of Laurentius. Last I heard, he was in the South Shroud. Find him, Burr, and if he is up to no good, put an end to it. And him, if it comes to that. Dun, dun, dun. You wily wood whaler, you. You can't make money. That's suspicious. <laughs> Where is this at? Hold up. Oh, just in this area. See, I am on patrol. Be God. If you have business with the whalers, take it to the barracks. Hey. Rude. Well. You can talk to me. I'll walk with you while you're on patrol. Wherever you went, sir. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where is he hiding? Ugh. Just want to die. Not long now, hoof, to think patrol routes and rations would fetch such a price. Ha <laughs> ha. No more than I deserve, though. Tis little wonder the Empire has risen to such heights. If only the whalers paid men their worth. I'll give you help, help, help! <laughs> Please, come quick, my friends. It is I, Laurentius. I am under attack. Oh. <laughs> like, where are they?
He's just trying to make some money. Just like all the rest of us are, you know? Uh, your friend is dead because of you. You could have just spoken to me. How? How did you? You just... I I know nothing. I was on patrol. He just appeared. I I thought you were working for the Garlands. Well. Wow. <laughs> this just keeps running away. Up there or down here? Uh, looks like he's up there. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like he's not telling me the truth. The heck is he? Keep reading these Ked Trap monsters, monsters as ketchup. The ketchup monsters. But they're blue and not red, so it doesn't make sense. What the heck? Maybe it is down here. I just want to talk. There's a lot to do in this game, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's not fair. It's, it's one of those double standard things. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Hello. I am but a simple minstrel, though once I served with the gods quiver, my days are now measured by stanza and verse. It's been long years since I set foot within the twelves wood, yet I can no longer ignore, ignore fate's insistent pool, and so I shall abide here for a time until certain matters are laid to rest. Just chill it. Just chill it. Why aren't you playing me music? Play me some music. I don't. I didn't say you could do this at all. Rude. So rude. I guess I think he's up this way. Ha! <laughs> oh, looks like we're gonna have to fight him. Alrighty. How long do you mean to keep this up? What is it you imagine I've done? Enough! Enough, I say! It's... it's over then. I... I sold maps and rations to the Empire. It was I. I meant no harm. But in the end, it is those with money who do as they will. Who live as they will. Ugh, ain't it the truth? So I sought an opportunity to change my fortunes and took it. All I've done, I've done for money. Endangered myself, my home, everything and everyone I love. Why, my actions have put your life in danger too. Uh. <laughs> He's laughing. Though you do not yet realize how much. Hee hee hee, bloody idiot. Did you imagine that you had cornered? Garlians, I brought the all raw bish. That's rude. It's just rude. It's uncalled for. Permit me a question, if you will. Are all adventurers so deluded as to believe they can challenge the power of Garlemald? You would need a veritable mountain of guilt to fund such an endeavor. Such is the cost of fighting great power, or of making it, or of remaking it, as we will, Gridania. I like this music. <laughs> so that's the way of it. Swapped your hard bug at the barracks for a, fa a feather bedded garlame, did ya? Ah, we have uh, reinforcements too. That's that's nice. You there, Aura? You stand here at Old Buck's wish, no? 
that you don't stand alone. Busks. So rude. Traitoring and stuff. Legless Laurentius. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't realize there were more people over this thing. Freaky bells. I was wondering that myself. It's like he... How does... He's legless, but he has legs. I don't understand. <laughs> Hi, Gemini. <laughs> Impossible. How did you best, best the Empire's finest? And with bandits and poachers at your side? They are your sworn enemies. Why do they fight with you and not against you? Ah, but I know the answer only too well, Buscaron. This is his doing. His words are wont to inspire men to act. Better men than I. Gods, what have I become? What have I done? I... I am sorry. No more will I pursue this folly. No more lies. No more bribes. <laughs> I will go to the Order of the Twin Adder and confess my crimes. There is something I would like you to tell Buscaron. Tell him Laurentius the Fool says thank you. I feel as though a veil has been lifted from before my eyes. Ah, Viking. That makes sense. Well, let's see. JC! Our Buckle Motorcycle Merc! <laughs> now it's a full party. We just need Sean, right? I don't think Sean's here. And if Trek feels like coming in today. Trek. We have to go back to Boosk, right? Yeah. I don't think I can. Yeah, but we'll just... Well, Chocobo, it. I think it's right there. I lazy. <laughs> Sean, we summon the. Oh no! <laughs> well, I have a feeling I've been crazy for a long time. Oh my gosh, a fat Chocobo! <laughs> <gasps> Where'd he go? He just disappeared. Fell into the river and disappeared. <laughs> so sad. Oh, he's got a little Vivi. Oh, little Vivi. So cute. I saw a woman dressed as Zidane earlier. 
Oh yeah, we're not in the right town. I thought so. I was like, I thought it was the other way. <laughs> they need tails to be the true Zidane, but they do look really cute in the Zidane's outfit. Hey, am I going the right way? Yes. Gosh, this game is really pretty. And the new patch is going to make it look even prettier. Or whatever you want to call it. I guess, yeah, it's a patch. With the expansion. And now, <laughs> Spencer of the Bottomless Cup. <laughs> is that Chocobo attacking them? What? I didn't know Chocobo was attacked. It's a big old motorcycle. There's something going by out there. Hi, <laughs> Laurentius confessed to his crimes. I just had word from the twin editor. Seems he marched straight into the nest and gave himself up. The lad's had quite a life, you know. His mother was killed by a brigand when he was only small. As a young man, he joined the whalers, hoping to spare his fellow Gradanians the misery he'd known growing up. <laughs> Trouble is, protecting Gradania is too big a job for one man, and he came to believe that he couldn't make a difference, that it was hopeless. There are few things more dangerous, the desperation, and a man lost in the dark is easily drawn to the glimmer of coin. I reckon he thought if he could, couldn't change the lot of his fellow man, he might as well change his own. Thing is, he was making a difference, just not on his own. Somehow he'd failed to grasp one simple truth, that those things we cannot do alone we must do together. Hey, he asked you to thank me, did he? Then there's good in him yet. I just hope that at the adder's nest are able to see it. What he's done ain't easy to forgive, but I'd like to think he'd be afforded a chance to make amends. But let us leave fates to the Twelve. I have other news for you, Burr. The Sylph Elder has been found. Oh. Yeah, we were supposed to be looking for him. Then we got sent down a quest to just go around and find people. <laughs> oh yeah. Patches and tank tops. Eight. All these really tall people with this armor. Okay, good. It's like, I can't see myself. It's taken us a fair old while, but we finally got our hands on some reliable information concerning the whereabouts of your missing green friend. Ahem, his name is Frixio, and he is the eldest amongst the sylphs of Little Solace. Long has he represented his kind in dialogue with the Grenadians. Yes, he's like a bridge between us and them. A small leafy green bridge that we can't find at the moment. And bridges are no use if you don't know where they are. That's why it's so important that we find him. <laughs> There's an abandoned dungeon called the Thousand Maws of Toto Rack here in the South Shroud. It was by the entrance to the place that Frixia was seen. A lot long ago, neither. If you hurry, I reckon you'll find him. Walking Woods, please help this one. This one needs help. Needs help to find older one. Elder one. Poor Frixio. Poor, poor Frixio. Oh, sad face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your chocobos. Take a deep breath and tell us what's wrong. Nice and slow. I don't know. They do make all their little ones very cute. <laughs> Elder one went into Toto Rack, but has not returned. This one is so worried. So very worried. It's a little leaf face. It's so funny. And you're right to be. The place fell fair 
crawls with nasties waiting to make a meal of anyone daft enough to wander in. What in the seven hells was he thinking entering that bloody death trap? Elder One had no choice. Imperial Ones were chasing Elder One. Please, Walking Woods must help Elder One. Help Elder One now. <laughs> Arr, lest fates conspire against us. Forgive my pragmatism. Pragmatism, but Frixio is our best hope of reaching an accord with the Sylphs. Were we to lose him, all our efforts thus far will have been for naught. I will tend to her wounds. I am to make haste to the adder's nest and request assistance. Understood. <laughs> they just both look at me. Burr! Go to the thousand miles of Toto Rack and see that Frixio comes to no harm. Between peace and Peace between man and self rests upon your success, but no pressure or anything. Aha, so another dungeon. I was wondering what our next dungeon would arise. What's she saying? <laughs> Have you slain some fearsome beasts? Look to be a doughty sort, perhaps I could trouble you with the task. Recently, I shared a flagon with a merchant from Ulda who regaled me with her tales of dangers from the road. First of all, as she had it, was the ferocious beast that nigh gored her within an ill of her life, just when she thought she'd reached the forest safe embraces. What matter of beast, you say? You'll not believe this, but it was an antelope. Yes, I doubted my own ears when I heard the tale, but twould seem a most ill-tempered strain of beast roams the land south of the druther druthers of late. You might recognize them by the scars they bear from Last thing, I would give you this freshly made bowl of Sparhawk egg soup to aid in your battle. You may chuckle, but the spices contained with are known to sap the energy of those plant-eating beasts. Now go carefully and don't let those doe eyes lull you into a false sense of security. The next day I'll you down and spill freely from the myriad holes in your body. Well, I don't think I'm gonna do that or uh, aim to do that, but I just was curious what she was talking about. <sighs> ah, Shilame, what's up? I'm just gonna take a drink real quick. It did. We were summoning you, Sean. <laughs> so, which one is it? <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, so it's up. <laughs> At least, or you've got a little like Esper summit in your blood. Oh, it's right up here. I always get nervous taking dungeons by myself. Especially as a take. Bloiserant. <laughs> I thought I was reading it as Blastoise in my head. Yes! I finally remembered I have a mount. He's so cute. I can't believe I forgot about it at first. He's too cute. Johnny Corwin, yo. <sighs> okay. Thank you. We'll just keep and stay out of the way of their moves, the little ones that light up the ground. <laughs> By order of the Elder Seeds here, the dungeon known as the Thousand Bones of Toto Rack has been placed under the control of. What? The Sylph Elder is inside? And you are sure of this? How will the Seven Hells that he managed to sneak by? God strike me down for a pure blind fool. 
You must find the self elder before he falls prey to the fiends within. Entrance to Toto Rack is ordinarily restricted, but these are exceptional circumstances. Pray assemble a rescue party and enter as soon as you are ready. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Wait. Crazy dog. He's about to. He doesn't care. He'll just like rip my headphones as he runs past. So funny. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's do this. As soon as my dog. There it goes. At least it's level twenty-four. Oh wait. Do I need food? Ah, some bread. Yes. <laughs> Another dark and dreary dungeon. Wonderful. The other part that I don't like about it is um since I I don't know where to go in these <laughs> Like I could get, I could tend to get lost in things. All right. Okay, <laughs> first done. What's this? Just a door. It's not one that we can open though. Keep going like that, that's not too bad. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> funny, funny. Heh <laughs> 
Oh no, that's the worst kind of mode for work. Why, are you extra tired? <laughs> that's hard mode at work for me. Ugh, Sean, you and me both. <laughs> Just like to torture myself. This is pretty though. Very pretty. Wow, this is really pretty actually. Wow. Just admire the dungeon. Oh no! <laughs> Not the NPCs. Big stupid flower. Oop, our first boss. Oh, great. I love being poisoned. It's my favorite thing ever. Yes, feed me, Seymour. Love me some loot, yo. I guess that's the one perk of doing the dungeons without, like, with NPCs, is, uh, you get all the loot. Oh, did they? Was it, was it not nice before? What is that? What is it? Oh. First spear ride out. Toto wreck expedition notes too. Engaged with sizable fiend. Succeeded in exterminating, but casualties mounting. Must consider turning back if situation worsens. Oh. I missed the first note, I guess. Evil little hallway to get stuck in. Oh 
wretched seedling. Oh yeah, I forgot what we were looking for in here. <gasps> wow. This is really pretty. Oh, those are not pretty. Prison pudding! That's a... Is that a joke? <laughs> Can I not hit them? There we go. <sighs> It's so gross! They definitely don't look like pudding. <laughs> they have the other ones that they are, like, flawed. Okay, well that's nice that they added the duty for it. And that's, yeah, that's what I mean. I was like, I sometimes I get so lost because they are like mazes. See, now I'm already lost. Which way do we go? <laughs> this way? Did we have a map? Yes, I think it's this way. Aha, yes. We got this dumb thing right here. Get some healing, dog. That was freaky. Okay, there's a treasure chest right here. Torturer's monocle? What? Oh, damn it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one. These toadstool things are annoying, but they're kind of cool and creepy, like, creepy looking, I like them. Creepy mushrooms! They're definitely annoying though. that limit break yet. We save that for the boss. <laughs> yeah, that's that doesn't sound like a good time. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, I've heard this. Oops. <laughs> I love when I accidentally hit the teleport. But good thing it can't teleport in the dungeon. Okay. 
together. Tails instead of cat or die. Leveled up too. <laughs> so scary. It's nerve wracking. Sir Oakford of the High Tides cell. Okie dokie. Change it loud, whoa, whoa, whoa. Change it loud. Probasque snow, whoops. You'll have none of that now. Oh, I just ran right into it. <laughs> First Fear Rydell, Toto Rack Expedition Notes, Dire Mite Infestation Confirmed, Scor Scores of Eggs on Verge of Hatching, Beyond Our Means to Deal With, Aborting Mission, Subsequent Parties Beware. I did notice there were a lot of uh, webs and eggs.
get a like flashbacks to Hogwarts Legacy all over again. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> Doting me. Kapoor, kapoor. Just keep slamming the ground over and over again. They're lice. Louses. Tades with louses. The least. Yes, we need other shampoo. It's pretty lousy. Ah, I could hear that. I could definitely get that. I love ET. I loved it when I was younger. I used to watch it over and over when I go to my great grandma's house. E.T. and Mary Poppins. I forget. She had a couple VHS tapes I'd always watch. Oh. Does that mean we got the last boss here? Oh. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm to watch this. I know it's just... The mighty slayer of Ifrit comes now to me. <laughs> Cease that on door. I could just be very educated. Uh, very uh, culturally educated for my age. <laughs> With a countenance that bespeaks understanding. An intrigue. An intriguing power, the echo. 
I must needs choose my words with care. Mayhap I might if I deign to speak in my guest crude tongue. We meet at last. I am Laha Brea of the Asians, servant to the one true god. Yours is a most fantastical tale, truly absorbing. It is a tale to tell Eorzea's children before bedtime, and it will soon be dark, bringer of light. The Dark Minions. All that stands between this world and darkness is an irksome anomaly in the ether. The Echo. Yes. Yours is a most fascinating tale. Alas, like all good tales, it must needs come to an end. But fear not. Here, feel the presence of evil. For the end of your tale is but the beginning of another. The tale of the crystal's demise. No, you dummy. Don't look at them, look at me. Uh oh, oh no. No, no, no. I do like the battle music. There you go. I was like, please use it. Eek. Ew. I don't like it at all. It's gross. You're disgusting! That's right. That's <laughs> right. Oh, no, no. Good deal. That was scary. What did you? Who did you call? You called him La, La Bread Boy. <laughs> Is that what you said, Gemini? The Bread Boy.
Oh, I already have a couple, couple. Yeah, that was intense. Bunch of things. Oh. <laughs> GG, NPCs. To bird gear? Finally, fresh air. Stiff, stiff. Maybe not so fresh, but better than before. Ah, sinister one is gone. This one can leave this awful place. Huh? Did walking one vanquish that many-legged one? This one is grateful to walking one. Oh, so cute. Frixio. This one is called Frixio, eldest of the, these ones of Little Solace. Two little glasses. Alpha Squad reporting, sir. Nothing of note at Lark Skull, sir. Understood. Return to Area 12. Damn it all. Where is that accursed icon hiding? No sign of our wizened friend? I'm afraid not, my lord. Shall I order that, order that the search perimeter be expanded? Yeah, this our character here has something that's akin to clouds losing consciousness and flashing back. It's funny. It's all I can think about whenever she does it. Absolutely not. We risk alerting the Grandanians to our presence. His excellently bid us avoid unnecessary confrontation. Loath though I am to admit, I have found no evidence to suggest that Ramu will be gracing the mortal realm in the near future. I ask you, what good is a god who does not grant one's wishes? Were I a sylph, I should strongly consider myself finding myself another idol. Which reminds me, what of the sylphs we captured? A handful of them seemed to be in reasonably good health when I last looked. Ah, apologies, my lord. I fear we may have been overzealous in our efforts to compel them to summon their acorn. Really, Centurion, were you not aware that vegetables bruise easily? It is well that I did not entrust you with the important task of making my dinner. <laughs> well, mayhap it was a kindness, better dead in truth than dead to one's own god, I suppose, if you believe in such things. Dawn is upon us. Make ready to withdraw. Of useless. We are so close to completion, I can fair taste it, but at this rate. No, I must be patient. Our efforts will bear fruit in due time. What was it you always said? Ah, yes, though it means bringing down the very heavens. Who shall challenge the limits of possibility if not we? In that alone you were right, Garland. But your stars long fallen. While my doth begin to rise, and it shall burn so bright, so bright, that Lord Van Balsar's ultimate weapon will seem a mere candle beside it. Ah ha 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 Those walking with Sidfordoxia, this wood is certain of it. This one fears that others taken ones also to harm these ones. Walking ones are not to be trusted. 
Now, now, Anorexia, do not pass judgment too hastily. Not all walking ones are alike, though there are evil ones among the walking ones. There are good ones also. <laughs> Does walking one feel unwell? This one would know. What brings walking one to this place? Looking for you. <laughs> Came to this one's rescue at Maraxia's bidding. Then this one was walking one, a debt of gratitude. <laughs> walking one has questions about Lord Ramu. Then this one will provide answers. But first, let these ones quit this lightless place. This one will return to Little Solace. When walking one is ready, please come and see this one. These ones may speak properly then. I was going to say, we should probably get out of here. <laughs> you know. Then it is settled. Let this one accompany walking one outside. It sounded so cute. You need somebody to worry about something? I got you covered. Okay? Yeah, it's it was pretty odd. Uh, oh, hey. Hi-ho. Silver. Johnny Corwin. Do do. I feel like there should be a piano in the corner in here. That would have been a nice touch. To have somebody playing it. Ah, you're back. Tell me the Sylph Elder as well. Thank the gods for that. I don't rightly know what to make of the rest of your tale, but I'm full glad Frixio didn't come to any harm. Ah, but there I go, tempting fate. Run over to Little Solace and secure us peace with the Sylphs before aught else befalls us, eh? Rest assured, I'll send word to our friends of Cher Lion and the Twin Adder both. You've done Gridania a great service this day, lass, and earned yourself a place of honor here at the Druthers in so doing. Be sure, go by whenever you feel like a drop of kick here in fire water. Woohoo. Whoa. That sound. It reminds me of a uh, Maggie Simpson sucking on her binky. I'm not sure what that sound is. a bird maybe <laughs> but that's what it sounds like oh she still has a quest here <laughs> say friend there's something I'd like to ask you to see delivered to the sylphs of little solace this azima rose oil it's a gift to celebrate the safe return of their tribe's leader and a token of Gridania's desire to unite the wood is not what it once was. The calamity changed the elementals, weakened them. Until their strength is returned, we must lend them ours to keep the wood safe. But ours alone will not be enough. We must have the strength of the sylphs as well. Only by working together and fighting together will we survive together, and the twelves would with us. The gift I ask you to bear is a symbol of the hope that both Gridanian and Sylph alike will live to see the light beyond this darkness. Okay. <laughs> I really like her little poncho y top. It's cute. <laughs> the little puppy's footsteps. All right, so yeah. 
Okay. Well, yeah, it's kind of down the down the road. <laughs> The lightning freaks out my eyes. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's lightning, but yeah, it like it looks weird. Ramu must be angry. Ah, probably up the tree. The elder, you know. Here it is. A gift from Walking with Muscaro? A gift for these ones? Yes. Got you some oil. Such a lovely scent. This one has never smelled anything like this before. Walking with Muscaro and adventuring one are very kind. Know that this one is deeply grateful. Many walking ones are scary. Many walking ones utter many lies and much deception. But this one is moved. Let all these ones be friends forever. No. Ooh. I don't know. This one's a cool. A kangaroo? Oh no, it's a... Uh, some kind of dinosaur thing. It does look like a... Like a lizard and a kangaroo crossed together, though. Hello. Kabuxi. Believe in yourself. This one has been expecting walking one. This one fetches elder one. <laughs> Aww. They're so cute. This one is pleased to see walking one again. Welcome to the home of these ones. Oh, these guys just decided to show up now. Ah, there you are, Burr. We have just been hearing tell of your deeds. Of daring do. Well done. Daring do. Ah, the walking ones who aided Anorexia. This one is grateful. A pleasure to have been of service. If you do not mind my asking, how did your misadventure come about? <laughs> this one does not mind. The misadventures. <laughs> This wonders where other walking words were. Exactly. The misadventures, as walking wood calls them, of this one began when Imperial ones entered the wood. Fearing trouble, these ones decided to watch Imperial ones closely. But these ones watched too closely, and Imperial ones noticed and tried to catch these ones. Having nowhere else to hide, this one fled into Total Rock. Would that this one had not. In Total Rock, a sinister one robed in black tried to feed this one to a many-legged one. A sinister one robed in black? Why do I have the feeling I should be more worried about that than I am? Elder Frixio, we come to you as emissaries of the nation of Cretania. This missive bears the words of the Elder Seed Seer. This one sees. So walking woods of Gredania are fearful of Lord Ramu. Plainly put, yes. Your people summon the Lord of Levin, but once. Yet that single occurrence occasioned a great alarm. But it's not as if the Gredanians dislike you or anything. Actually, it's just the opposite. They think of you as friends, and they don't want anything to get in the way of that. That's why the Elder Seedseer wrote to you. Whom this one well knows and respects Horned One, Kan Isena. 
be assured. Like walking woods of Gridania, these ones have no desire for conflict. These ones resorted to summoning Lord Ramu to protect the wood from Imperial Woods. This one counseled against doing so, but was not heeded. Against this one's wishes, Lord Ramu was summoned, and all those ones who took part became touched ones. These ones went so desperately to turn touched ones back to normal ones, but did not know how, and still do not know. Touched ones, meanwhile, wanted to turn these ones into touched ones, and did know how. So this one fled to Little Solace with all those ones who did not wish to be bound to Lord Ramu. But walking ones of Gridania need not fear touched ones or Lord Ramu. Unlike other primal ones, Lord Ramu is not callous and cruel. So long as walking ones do not trespass on these ones ancestral homeland where touched ones reside, walking ones will not suffer thunderous judgment. But this one has spoken enough of touched ones. This one would speak instead of these ones. As this one said, these ones desire peace with walking ones of Gridania, and so these ones ask for a chance to set things right. By way of an addendum, mortals who are tempered come to take on the qualities embodied by the primal in question. In the case of the sylphs, Ramu's influence has made them fiercely protective of their homeland. That explains why they're so hostile towards trespassers, but what about the abductions? Fine question, Ida. The abductions are, I believe, an expression of the tempered sylph's desire for reconciliation. Another quality traditionally associated with Ramu. In the crudest manner imaginable, they seek to bring their fellows back into the fold. A timely reminder that the challenges posed by each primal are unique. <laughs> Elder Frixio, we thank you for making your will known to us. The people of Gridania will rest easier in the knowledge that they and the Sylphs are united in their desire for peace. Wishing to cooperate, this one has written down the feelings of these ones. Please see that these feelings are conveyed to Horned One, Khan E. Sena. And with that, I believe we can lay the matter of Ramu to rest. That Sylph's elder is... The Sylph elder is very reasonable, I must say. You can learn a lot from him. <laughs> Hmm? Was that a jibe? If so, I feel it only fair to observe that one of us wouldn't recognize reason if it punched her on the nose. Did I say fair? I meant reasonable. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head back to the Waking Sands and tell Midphilia all about it. Fear not, we will be sure to mention the instrumental part you played in all of this. And while we see to that, we should appreciate it if you would deliver Frixio's missive to the Adder's Nest. Elder Frixio, we humbly thank you for your time. It has been an honor. <laughs> so funny, you're so cute. The honor is this one's. Together, let the walking ones of Gridania and these ones find a way to live in peace. No. Please wait, Walking Wood Burr. This one has yet to give Walking Wood a token of this one's appreciation. Ooh. When these ones summoned Lord Ramu, these ones were gifted this crystal. This one would now bestow the crystal upon Walking Woods as a symbol of these ones' trust. Ah, you're right. Another crystal. <gasps> this one was not mistaken about walking wood. 
walking what is destined to walk a fate far crueler than this one can imagine. <laughs> a brilliant light from within walking what enveloped the crystal this one saw. Mark this wood well. That crystal will one day be of use to walking wood. Walking wood must keep that crystal safe at all times. Before walking wood returns to Gridania, this one would ask walking wood to watch touched ones. So long as touched ones are not troubled, touched ones will not make trouble. If walking wood witnesses touched ones making no trouble, they help walking one can testify to walking ones of Gridania that these ones mean no harm. These ones' homeland is fraught with danger. This one marks down safe places to look out for touched ones. <laughs> to look out. Woohoo! <laughs> Somebody's doing the dancing. Okay, so uh, then I have to go to the adder's nest now. Well, that was cool. I was afraid we were going to have to fight Ramu. I was a little nervous. Ramu was a choice in uh, games like in uh, any other Final Fantasy. I'd always have Oh yeah, I have uh, this set up, so I can just go home for free. Oh yeah! I love Trivial Pursuit. I'm really usually very bad at it though. <laughs> but yeah, I could see that. Gotta get all the different colors. Which way is it? Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. Sometimes I feel bad, like uh, I don't know if it's... Not, like if it's boring or... But I'm really I'm glad that you like it. <laughs> I have to go over here. I thought I had to go back here. But I see, I have to go stand out and do look out. I was wondering about that. I was thinking that actually, uh, sexy. Because I was like, well, at least when you're watching, like, you'll get the story that you missed. <laughs> Can understand why you had to do certain things now. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it is this way. <laughs> oh, well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> I try. I'm gonna keep it entertaining. Keep it fresh. Ah, so I have to look out that here. Wait, I don't think there. No, just this one over here. Lark's call. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sometimes it's good to listen, especially back in the day, like, you needed to listen to the dialogue to know what you were doing next. Did that work? Do I have to be off my chocobo? These guys are really high level over here. Haha. <laughs> There are tempered sylphs in the distance. You do not sense that they pose a danger if left alone. Huh. Oh. 
Well, that's good. There's no danger. Okay, now I have to go back. <laughs> I could rub Well, see? You, you know, I read it aloud and I still didn't pay attention to it. <laughs> oh, it's on cooldown. <laughs> ah, that's my fault. Really? That is so cool. That just, that really warms my heart. That is so nice. It makes me love this game even more. Because <laughs> people are so cool. Oops. This one doesn't take me to the right one, does it? Yeah, it does. It's over here, I think. Oh my gosh. Don't even get me started on old NES games. Like, I never beat any of them. Granted, I was really young when we had one, but... I'm noticing it. It's so tempting. I really need to make enough money to subscribe, because... I am like in love with this game and with the people that I've met through it. Like everybody who's come into my chat through all the games that I've been playing so far are so cool. I'm so happy I got to meet you guys. And it's just so exciting to know that there's a good community of gamers. Cause you know, you all know how it can be. Sometimes it gets a little toxic out here. <laughs> Ah, Private Lynn, how went the meeting with the Sylphs? Well, you could just read this paper for yourself, sir. A missive from the Sylph Elder himself, if I may. So the Sylphs have no desire for conflict, nor do they intend to summon Ramu. And so long as we leave the Tempered Ones be, we need not fear any aggression on their part. The Elder Seedseer will be overjoyed to hear that the Sylphs have welcomed our, our overtures, and in the knowledge that they bear us ill, no ill will, we may channel our resources towards tackling the more conspicuous threats to our security. You have done our nation a great service, Private Lin. It will not be forgotten. You're welcome. <laughs> Felt like it was in order. Just fit. Tata, Tataru Potato is <laughs> the picture on this one. The Sylphic folk have long been friends to Gridania. The mere thought of being at war with them pained the Elder Seeds here to no end. But owing to your efforts, she will be able to rest easier. <laughs> yeah, just fairly my inner only with Lois Griffin. <laughs> Toxic out here. <laughs> Being the benevolent soul that she is, my lady will surely try to find a way to reverse the tempering process. Once again, I thank you. Had the science of the seventh dawn not offered to meditate between our peoples, suspicion and doubt may well have led us into needless conflict. Pray pass on my regards to Lady Minfilia. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, my Bluetooth. Hello? Hello, Burr. Can you hear me? It is I, Minfilia. Ida and Papalimo returned some little while ago, and they wasted no time in regaling me with the tale of your exploits. Thanks, in large part to you, the name of one primal may be struck from our list of enemies, and the Gredanians may turn their attention to more pressing matters. Well done. Yet the end of one tale is but the start of another. Pray return to the waking sands at your earliest convenience. I would appraise you of the present situation in person. A prize, a prize. I'll appraise you. 
Of course. It never ends. It never ends. They've got an interesting look going on. Oh wait, I think I got new armor. <laughs> I know I got new armors. Woo! Ah, so then I can just do... Excuse me. Got some chicken eggs. Chicken chicken. Thousand screens. Never know, I might find something really cool that I didn't realize I had. Like I, when I found the little airship in here. <laughs> oh, there it is. The footfalls. A doggy. I heard you, doggy. It's crazy how far away you can get. That gives me a weird feeling, though. Like I'm flying. Yes, exactly, Sean. It's like, oh! Or when you find money. <laughs> I have a, have, it's been a long time since I've found that, but... It was always a good feeling. Well, if it isn't my favorite adventurer, welcome back, Burr. Lady Bethelia awaits you within the solar. Please enter at your leisure. Given to understand that the matter of Romu has finally been resolved. Hmm. I fear resolved bespeaks a permanence we cannot rightly claim. Yet I am well satisfied that the Lord of Levin will not trouble us in the foreseeable future. Your satisfaction is assurance enough for me. Who are these people? Like these they're evil or at least the, the brother is <laughs> how fair is the investigation well enough then crit is sparing no effort they are many and one just as you suspected their purpose however eludes us still I see ah I have been meaning to ask but is Alisale <laughs> as Alisai quite well. I feel as if I have scarcely seen her in recent days. Oh, you haven't, uh, nor have I, alas. Alisai has chosen to walk her own path, stubborn girl, but you may be assured that our destination remains the same. <laughs> I feel like you'll you'll deserve it. <laughs> and on that note, I take my leave of you. I trust the Baldesian report will serve you well. I take it we can proceed as discussed. Why do you ask? You scarce need my permission to act. <laughs> She's very pretty though. What a pretty boy. She's good to see you again, Burr. <laughs> He's so cute. 
I have been looking forward to congratulating you on your triumph in the Twelve's Wood. Owing to your efforts, conflict has been averted. Truly, you have done the science proud. With that, we can strike Ramu from the list. So who's next? The Sahagin and Leviathan? The Lord of the World has not answered his minions' call of late, nor is he expected to do so in the fu near future. While the Sahagin remain as aggressive as ever, they lack the quantity of crystals required to call forth their god. As with the Sylphs, we can leave them to their own devices, for a time at least. Uh, yes, Draco Malfoy. <laughs> For a time, bears repeating, we can ill afford to fall complacent. It's as Istola says, unless we know the minds of the beast tribes, we cannot predict with any certainty when next arrival will return to plague the land. This being the case, we must proceed with as much haste as prudence allows. Any word on Titan? The Maelstrom keeps the kobolds under constant observation. <laughs> we shall hear from them ere long. You may depend upon it. Indeed. So, then... Of all the known primals that have been active in recent times, we are left with. Gritania! Wait! I make Garuda, who is the primal of the Ixel who live near Gridania. Yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> so many mounds to cover. Would that w there were a more efficient way to conduct our surveys? Were he still with us, we should not long have wanted for a more practicable solution. Big Wedge! He? <laughs> She's not wrong there. Where in the world are you, Chief? <laughs> His head looks like a little turnip or something. Troll. But, one short step at a time. Henceforth, the Order of the Twin Adder will handle all matters pertaining to the Sylphs under the sage guidance of the Seed Seers. I bid you all enjoy a moment's respite. You have earned it. <laughs> Is he just like waving? <laughs> These pants and, like, boot legging things make my girl look thick. She's like, <laughs> Is there something else for her? She's so short. <laughs> Beg pardon. A man lay in Laha bread, sporting a red mask and robed in black. Twelve preserve. Prior to the calamity, the uh, Ashens took great pains to, re uh, to remain hidden. Why would they choose to cast off their veil of secrecy now? Gods, this bodes ill. <laughs> she thick. We must take advantage of the present lull in primal hostilities and investigate this Lahabred. We'll learn all we can of him and his designs. I dread to the... Eek! <laughs> My voice is too fried. <laughs> Tataru! It's true that, sexy. True. Oh. Eight self? Infinite At long last, this one finds walking wood, burr. This one is most dependable of these ones. It's sent by Elder One Frixio to help walking woods. This one is called Araxia. This one comes as a friend. Let these ones be friends. Uh, a pleasure to meet you, Araxia. <laughs> the Wall of Fells wearing sacks. 
kind of, yeah, yeah, they're potatoes. Oh, she's gonna come with us. She's, she's being a friend. Gotta go speak to her. Oh, wait. This way. <laughs> I love potatoes. Yes, Tataru is as ready to express her fright as she is to express uh, everything else. Not all of us are forged of the same steel as you, I'm afraid. But it takes all kinds to make a family, and it pleases me to no end to see ours continue to grow. One by one, the people of Orzea are beginning to unite, Burr, drawn to the hope that shines within you. Yet a darkness threatens to engulf this light. Never have I doubted the Asians' presence, but that they have grown so brazen as to carry out their work in plain sight fills me with a sense of deep foreboding. Oh my goodness, yes. You can make so much with potatoes. And they all taste delicious. What did I get? More of those? Oh, chain. Oh, yeah, like chain emails. Yeah. Well, I think this is where I'm going to end it for tonight. I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like if you haven't yet and subscribe if you're new here. And keep an eye on the community tab for what I'm going to be streaming next. Um, and also, I had a question I've been thinking about maybe putting my bloopers from my cosplay videos like videos and images up on my patreon but i'm just trying to feel out if people would be interested in that uh, so leave a comment under this video to let me know how you feel and then if you're interested in joining our discord the link will also be under this video all right guys thank you so much have a good night i'll see you again